Hi guys, what's up? My name is JJ and today we're gonna see 5 aerials into a combination. On the diversity side, we're gonna balance between dominant and dino hand and between horizontal and vertical planes and that while our body stays static throughout the entire combo. The connections in this combo makes it look so flourish. But to get to that, we need to break it down first and learn the tricks individually. It's important to start this combo with an aerial that can be executed really fast and has a high success ratio. The basic aerial, going from front to back grip via hand roll, is ideal for that. When we use our hand to slice over, well, in my book, I call that the slice aerial. After we sliced over with our left hand, we're gonna try and catch it around the center point. But we're gonna hold it only briefly because we're gonna flick it again in the air. This is what I call the propeller flick. The next aerial is the zero gravity aerial inside out and it might be the hardest of the five. You bounce onto your left hip, make speed and in the center you're gonna release the nunchaku while you elevate your arm. You're gonna keep on hoovering with your hand over the nunchaku and you catch it after a 540 degree spin around the center point. The fourth aerial is the aerial behind the back. While this is one of the easiest one of this combination, it's the connection with the zero gravity aerial that is the hardest part of this combo. As you might have noticed, this aerial behind the back is maybe a little bit differently executed than how you would normally do it. The best way to get into the right angle is to try and aim for the inside of the elbow of the opposite arm. That way you will get into the right angle to execute this beautiful sequence part of this combo. After you caught the aerial behind the back with your left hand, you go with the flow, bounce to your right hip, go to the center, abruptly stop and pop the nunchaku in the air for a pizza aerial. After you got that done, you can try the sequence of the last three aerials. When you got that on your belt, well, you're ready for the entire combination. While I always go full dynamicism in every combo that I make, for this one, my body stays very static because the nunchaku makes all the dynamicism. And that's the beauty of it. While you train a beautiful combination, you also train your basics. And that's the way to go. I hope you enjoyed it and up to the next one.